These are the best video editing apps for iPhone in 2024. We've narrowed it down to our top picks, including the best beginner friendly and free video editing apps, right up to more advanced options. Find out which is the best iPhone video editing app for you. So with all the app options out there, I've done so much trying and testing and I've narrowed my shortlist down to two, which are gonna cover off most people out there. So app option number one is CapCut. This is an amazing all-rounder. It's gonna be great if you're an absolute beginner, right up to sort of an intermediate level, given the amount of features and control and everything that's in there. The overall interface and the app experience is really easy to use, it's really intuitive. Again, making it great. If you've never edited before, you're gonna be able to pick this up really quickly. Now this is an app that works on almost everything. There is a Mac version, there's a Windows version, there's iOS and Android, and you can actually transfer your projects between the different devices too. And they've even got a cloud backup service to help make that easy for you too. Now inside CapCut, there's so many different effects and transitions and animations and all of that stuff built in with a good level of customization or control as well to help you get everything looking the way that you want. They also have a built-in library of stock music and graphics and sound effects all built into to CapCut. And while it's nice that it's in there, I would always recommend using services like Storyblocks or Motion Array for motion graphics or Artlist or Epidemic Sound for music, just so that you're totally covered and in the clear when it comes to things like licensing and using these assets in your own videos. But one of the things I absolutely love about this is that they are constantly evolving and updating this app. I swear, most times I open it, there's some sort of update available for it. And really, it's crazy to see just how far this app has come in the last couple of years, let alone the last six months. Out of all the editing apps out there, I'd probably say that this one's got the most amount of AI integrations, things like AI color grading, AI captions, voiceovers, even AI presenters or avatars now too. They've also recently released, that's a mouthful, a text-based editing feature where you can edit your videos like you would a Word document, similar to tools like Descript, but built right into CapCut too. And I really like the way that they've integrated this. It's not complex like it is in a lot of other apps and tools. It's again, really easy, really intuitive. There's also a lot of built-in templates and presets and stuff to help you get creating fast. So if you're not quite sure, the type of video you wanna make, then those templates could be a great starting place. And a lot of those templates have really stemmed from what you'll see on places like TikTok. They're making this whole creation process simple, which I absolutely love. Now, speaking of TikTok, there's a lot of integrations with that because they're both owned by the same company. Both TikTok and CapCut are owned by a company, ByteDance. CapCut isn't available everywhere. There are some countries out there that have restricted access to it. I guess there's some sort of privacy or data concerns or something with that. So it is worth noting personally for me, that is not a big deal at all. I think it's an amazing app, but if you are looking for something that is a close alternative, then it's really hard to go past VN Video Editor. Now it wasn't that long ago that CapCut was totally free, but now they still have an amazing free version, but they are moving a lot of pro level features and things over onto their pro or paid plan. And it's actually pretty cheap considering what you get access to. So you can jump on a monthly subscription for $7.99 per month, or there's an annual option at $74.99 per year. But what I love about this is that you can do so much in the free version. I know a lot of people that are using CapCut and most of them are just using the free version. And when you're in the app and you're editing, you can clearly see which are the pro or the paid features. So if you're only on the free one, then you can just make sure that you don't use those in your end product and you're not gonna have any watermark or any issues. As I said, the free version is amazing. So that's app option number one, CapCut. But if you're someone who's looking for something more advanced, if you're looking for the next level of professional grade tools on your iPhone, then you can't go past LumaFusion. So LumaFusion has a fairly simple, a fairly intuitive interface. It's not as simple or as easy as CapCut, but it is fairly straightforward. But it's also a lot more customizable. You can resize things, you can change different preset layouts depending on what it is you're actually doing when you're editing. And you even have the ability to rotate your phone and it works in landscape as well, which most apps don't. So again, this one works on iPhone, on iPad, on Mac. There's even an Android version of LumaFusion as well. And you can transfer your projects again between the different devices. But really the big difference here is the next level or the pro grade features that come in LumaFusion. You've got lots of control over your audio. There's a ton of audio effects. There's great media management. There's even proxy video file workflows. You also get more control over your video settings. Things like the video color space, frame rates, codecs, and bit rates. There's even an 
an integrated multicam studio. If you're gonna be editing with multiple camera angles or multiple audio sources, this could be a great addition for you, but it is an additional in-app purchase. There's also a few really powerful integrations with things like Dropbox, Storyblocks, so the stock footage, stock music website, and Frame.io, which is what we use for our video collaboration and for our video reviews. And in terms of pricing, while CapCut had an amazing free version with a paid subscription update, LumaFusion just has a one-time fee or one-time purchase of $29.99. So I love that it's just a one-time purchase and not just another subscription that's gonna keep rolling over. But if you do want access to things like their integration with Storyblocks and access the stock footage and music and everything from there, then that is an additional in-app purchase too. But rounding this out, LumaFusion, while it doesn't have as many AI tools and functionality as CapCut, it's also got less effects and transitions. It's definitely a much more professional app right now. And it's gonna get you the closest you can to using a professional video editing tool on your iPhone. But if I had to pick a winner from these two, it is gonna go to CapCut. I really do think it's an amazing all-rounder. It has a good mix of interface and usability and functionality too. And for those of you who wanna find out more and learn how to edit in CapCut or LumaFusion, then check out the links down in the description box below. We've got some advanced training down there to help you. As always, check out the other resources we've got down there for you too, and I will see you in the next video.